Oh, hi. It's your favorite day of the week. It's Friday. We got a special guest in the building. He said, I ain't on the camera. <laughs> what's up, what's up, learning something? That's right. BD in the building. All right, how do I flip the camera back around? Boop, we back. So I'm about to make a phone call. I don't know if the lady going to answer. I usually try to text to see if they'll answer. What's up? Welcome to the replay viewers. Welcome to the live viewers. The real state Ron. I don't know what they say. Oh, real estate Ron. Real estate Ron. What up, real estate Ron? Nice name. Got a nice little uh, flow with it. What's up, Alex? What up, everybody? So, yeah, I'm going to get on the phone with this lady. This uh, house is vacant. I don't know how long it's been vacant for. Came in on a uh, ringless voicemail drop from a divorce slash bankruptcy list that was pulled from wokesource.com wokesource.com that's the source if you want to get leads more leads than you can even process wokesource.com what's up what's up what's up how you doing so i'm about to get on here and see if i can get this lady here miss barbara i don't know if she's gonna answer i sent her a text message and see if she would answer but uh they didn't respond maybe she's too old to do that type of stuff what up d young rodney d young oh they don't have that there they're like what is that that's only some st louis stuff all right, let's see what we got here. Let's get him on the phone. What's up, Barbara? One to connect to. Three, one. Wokesource.com. That's right. The link's in my description in the bio here. Wokesource.com. More leads than you can process. Cash buyers. MLS. Off market. On market. Absentee owner. All of that stuff. Barbara ain't even gonna answer the phone. See, I knew that was gonna happen. That's why I ain't wanna get on here yet. Eh. What's up, Maxine? Fresh Start Investors. Well, she ain't gonna answer. I guess she'll call back. I mean, we pray. Leave your message for Barbara Chandler. Hey, Barbara, this is Chris. You spoke to my assistant in regards to your house over on the Cleed Station Road. I'm more than interested in trying to buy it. I'd just like to speak to you. If you can, give me a call back at 314-4. Again, this is Chris, 314. You can text me or call. Either one is fine. Hope to speak to you soon. Have a great day. So that's that. Don't be trying to call my number either. Any of you people watching on here. Don't call that number. I'll block you. I'll block you. So if you got any questions, anything you working on before I get up out of here, unless she calls back in a minute. Because I really only did this live stream just to, you know, record it for you all. What's up, Star Devadu? Devadu. If I'm saying that right. That's a French, French word. Any questions for any of the deals you working on? I know you're working on some deals. I hope you're working on some deals. If you're not, you sleep. You want to stay woke or you'll be broke. What's up? Trail. T-Rail. Trail in the building. So, yeah. Um, so, this deal here came in. Let's see here. We got a question. Real Estate Ron asked a question. How do you go about explaining your multiple offer strategy? Hmm. Good question. How do you go about explaining? I don't try to explain anything as far as the multiple offer strategy. I actually ask good questions initially from the seller. My motto is at least 50 questions. If you didn't ask 50 questions, you didn't ask enough. So I try to ask them certain things like the condition of the property, what type of repairs you think it may need, um, break it all the way down into detail if needed. If they're not open to tell you what they need, go ahead and ask them. How about the plumbing and the electrical? How's that going? They tell you all about that. Then once you know about the condition of the house, which is the easiest thing to talk about because you know they want to talk about that, then I move into their motivation. You know, uh, you know. So it seems like a pretty good house. We made you decide to want to sell it, Mr. Seller. And then you know, and the other things like that to find out why they're selling. What's their real motivation? What are you going to do if you're not able to sell it? Real good questions there. If you ask these type of questions to everybody you speak to, it'll open up the doors to see what options are available before you even know if you're going to do a multiple offer strategy or not. Some people tell you, no, I don't want none of that other stuff. I want all cash and I want it all fast. I ain't playing around. Kind of like this lady is. She said they don't want to do none of that stuff. Even though I don't know that for sure. That's what they told my virtual assistant. But when I speak to her, I will know more if she wants 
to do that or not. Because, you know, my virtual assistant can only kind of ask the question, but I can actually go in and explain, you know, how we can do something more than just buy for all cash and give you this lowball offer, which I'll be more than happy to give you this lowball offer if you take it. Because it looks like this house worth about 300000 I offer $100,000 and ain't even got to go see it. We'll just do it right now. Lock it up. So this lady here, um, so like I was saying, uh, let me finish that. So condition of the house, first part, but a bunch of questions about that. Second part, their motivation, what's their situation, why are they selling, uh, how can you really provide value and help them. Part three is the numbers, where you start getting into the numbers, you know, um, you know, uh, then you start getting into the offer. Your offer is even a question. So would you consider $100,000 for this house, Mrs. Seller? Or even before I even ask that, I would go in and say, well, we can buy your house all cash. Typically, we pay the closing costs, so there's no pocket out-of-pocket cost to you. Um, there's no real estate agents or commissions or fees or anything. The price we offer is the price you actually get. And uh, so if we were able to do $100,000 for it and close this up in a timely manner, would that work for you? Question, and you got to pause. When you ask these questions, you got a question, shut up. Real important. Question, shut up. You got it? If you got it, give me your thumbs up. Give me your heart. Give me a like. I appreciate it. So all cash and all fast. That's exactly what they say. You say you need a hat like this? You can get one at WokeRealEstate.com. Matter of fact, you can edit it to say whatever you want. You can put your name there. Say Chris buys houses or whatever you want to say. Put your name on there. Trail buys houses. Woke realestates.com go to the shop page the links in my description on the description of all my videos anything you see me wear most of the time matter of fact you might even get this i don't know you want a shirt like that too i might get you one of them too i'm thinking about dropping this on the site too but i got different colors for this too blue red green this gray i like the gray the smoke gray woke realestate.com is the website thank you oh, no problem ron yeah so hopefully that helps you out so i don't try to go in and explain a lot of stuff i try to gather a lot of good information Ball it all up and haruk it. Hit him with that. Just like that. <laughs> haruk it. Tarabaska school scots. Whatever they be saying back on that game. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's all about positioning yourself as an expert and as a trusted advisor. I'm not on there to try to sell people anything. I'm just going to tell them, well, this is some of the things that we may do. We may have a program available that may help you out in your situation, Mr. Seller. You know, I don't know if it's going to work for you and work for us, but we want to make it a win-win situation. That's my goal here. I'm not trying to beat you up on your price. I want to get you everything you deserve, not just what you want for your house. I want to get you what you deserve. So when you master these words, it changes everything. You got to have good words. Our bankruptcy is hard to deal with. They can be. Anytime you have a third party, whether it's something listed on the MLS with a real estate agent, like one of my favorite agents just dropped in here. What's up, Mary? I see you. She just dropped in down in Florida, real estate agent. Or if you have a bankruptcy attorney, anytime you got more people, too many cooks in the kitchen can mess up your food. They all in there whipping up stuff and, oh, well, I don't know about this and trying to mess you up. You want to have an A-B conversation with the seller. If you can convince the seller and or the decision maker on the property, you can make a deal with it. But when you start dealing with all these other people and people in their ear, oh, no, I don't know about that. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I was you. You ain't me. You ain't got to do what I'm going to do. I'm trying to sell my house. He said he got a way to buy it. Let's give him a chance. And when you sound confident and you sound like you know what you're talking about, people will know, like, and trust you and sign that dotted line. Put some pen to paper. That's what you want them to do. Put some pen to paper or digital. Sign it up like that. So, yeah. What's up, Elite VS? I see you. I see you. So, bankruptcies can be hard to deal with. You want to try to get the house pulled out of the bankruptcy so you can sell it. Now, there's some people that I'm working on right now, as a matter of fact where we're actually trying to uh, get their house pulled out of bankruptcy so that we can buy it. And so sometimes you actually can help them out, depending on if they have equity or what their situation is. Sometimes you can even be creative and do creative deals. I haven't come across one where I've been able to successfully do that yet, but you can actually do it. What's up, Daedra? Another one of my favorite agents. She's in St. Louis and in Florida, too. See, these agents be popping up out everywhere. Agents! So y'all are uh, what they agents on the Matrix. <laughs> You're an agent. <laughs> Mr. Smith. Oh, she is Mrs. Smith, too, by the way. That's her name. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Boss man Chris, you know it. So, yeah, you got to, you know, control your conversation, ask good questions of these people, and, uh, you know, provide value. You got to solve their problem. If you're not solving their problem, your offer and your number don't mean nothing. And I see a lot of people jumping too quick to try to make an offer. I want to give you this much. I want to give you that much. You don't have enough information to know if that's even going to do it. And so, like I say, even when you make your offer, that's a question as well. Would you consider taking 50000 for this house? 
Well, I mean, I could do that. Let them complain. They might even complain. Let them say, oh, no, that's low. Sometimes people complain and still say yes. Don't be so quick to shut it off. And then they might say, well, I mean, I really want to get more than that. I mean, you know what I mean? Let them do all that complaining. And when they get through, right here, okay it here and here. Let them complain. That don't mean no because they complain. Don't accept that as a no. That just means they might have to complain and vent and say, oh, that's that's a lot lower than I thought. I mean, I thought I would have got more. Uh, you know, that's today's market. You know how this stuff goes. We got to take all the risk. Your house needs cabinets, countertops, a whole new kitchen, the floor falling in, you know, and I don't know what's going on with that crack in the basement. You got to scare them with something. That foundation can be an expensive repair, which is very true. You know, that's like $65, $75 a square foot on a foundation. That stuff's high. You got to use all that stuff, whatever things that you gather as far as your information to know, you know, what you can do to close them with. Makes all the difference. Any more questions, comments, concerns before I get up out there and do some more woke stuff? Let me see. Should I try to call this lady again? Should I try to call? Uh oh, somebody just texted back. Was that her? She just texted me back. Yes, call me. How's she going to text me back and say, yes, call me when I just called you? Made me have to go through all that. At least y'all still got to stay on live so we can try one more time. All right, let's get her on the phone and see if she home. Give me some likes and some, some hearts and some shares. You can share it out. There's a little share button somewhere down here. Share it out to somebody who likes this real estate talk. Share it out to somebody who want to change their life. Share it out to somebody who want to buy real estate with no money down, no credit, no cash, no nothing. Just just get in the game like from knowing the thing. Because, you know, there's three ways to get into real estate, right? Cash. We know about being a cash buyer, dropping that money. We know about that credit, having that 700 credit score. That's another way to do it. And the third way is the knowledge, which is the most powerful way to get it. The knowledge. When you know how to do the game, you don't need any money you just need that good mouthpiece know what you're talking about know the game so but if you don't know the game you can lose your cash and your credit and that would be a lose-lose you want to be in a win-win right all right so let's get miss barbara back on the phone let's see if she home yes call me call me all right miss barbara barb should i call her barb or barbara i gotta act like i'm her nephew for a minute she sounds like an older black lady too let me let me connect with the seller I don't know why she didn't answer the phone the first time. <clears throat> Put on my professional voice. Thanks for those hearts. Hello, this is Barbara. Well, hello, Barbara. This is Chris. How are you today? I'm doing great. Good, good. So you spoke to my assistant in regards to your house over on the Cleed Station Road. I was just trying to get back with you. Um, did I catch you at a good time? Yes. Great, great. So um, it seems like uh, she said that this house was vacant and uh, it needs a little bit of updating. Is that what it needed? Yes. Great. About how long has it been uh, vacant for? Uh, it's been vacant for three of the four years. Uh, the, uh, the, one of the years there were some tenants living in it. Mm. After that, uh, it's been vacant for three years. Oh, wow. So three years, that's a long time. So when those tenants moved out, uh, was there a plan to what, put more tenants in it? Or what was the, the original plan to, uh, do something with the house? My original plan, uh, Chris, right now, our plan right now is to see if we can make this an opportunity for someone else. I know that's right. So we are definitely interested in buying it. So I don't know if my assistant told you. So basically we buy houses for cash in any condition. And that's regardless of how much you owe. And she said you all didn't owe anything on it. Is that correct? We absolutely owe nothing on the house. The house is free and clear. Uh, we, we just don't know when we got this. Uh, like I told your assistants, we're both filling each other out. I didn't know who you are representing what company you are representing, if you're an independent uh, investor, or what your um, what your interest would be, and who are, who are you representing. So that's one thing that I want to see what's, what, what you have to say regarding that. Yeah, yeah, that's totally understandable. So yeah, so basically, uh, 
What uh, we are St. Louis cash buyers. Like I say, we buy houses all over St. Louis City, County, and even St. Charles. Um, we try to uh, work out a deal to where we can basically buy your house. Now, sometimes when we buy these houses, we fix them up and hold them in our rental portfolio. Other times we buy them, fix them up, and put them out on the MLS and sell them for a retail to a new family. But, uh, you know, as long as we can make it a win-win situation with, you know, you and us where we can actually buy the house and where, you know, we're not going to try to get rich on you or anything like that. But we do want to actually, you know, buy the house at a price to where we can actually put the money into it to make it a beautiful house all over again. Because I know you said it needed some updating, right? Yes, it needs, it needs updates. That's the truth of the matter. Right, right. And so since it's been vacant and stuff, has it been winterized and stuff through the winter time these three years or what? Uh, I, don't, I, I, I don't know what you mean by winterized. We, like I told the, the young lady, we have a roof on the house, a brand new roof on the house uh, with a 10-year warranty and with a transfer of a warranty on that with new waivers to it. Uh, basically, the house, there is no... Uh, gas, we cut the gas and run off the house because there, there's nobody living there, so there's no need to keep those those utilities on. Right, right. So they did fix it so that the pipes wouldn't freeze over the winter time. That's what I was asking about. Uh, the pipes will not freeze because there's no water in the line. Perfect. We blood all the lines, all the lines of blood. It will not freeze because the water is shut off at the at the uh, main. Oh, okay. So you all were prepared for this. So you're professionals. Okay, that's good. That's good. And so, um, is there anything in the house that you would still want, like furniture or anything left behind, or is it pretty much empty? You just want to get rid of it. Now? Things that are left in the house. Uh, we, 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 uh, it was kind of like a hoarder's house, and we have decluttered it a lot since. Uh, I mean, so, so people can even look at it. So there is some uh, things still there. Yes, there are things in the, in the garage that are still there, and then there are some books that have to be um, have to be removed. Okay, no problem. So, like I said, we buy the house as is. So, we, if we are, we're able to work out everything, whatever you don't want, you could just leave it behind, and we'll deal with it. We'll get a dumpster or whatever, or we'll have somebody it's come by. It, it, it's not. It's not even a dumpster situation. Oh, okay. I, I, we, we we made the house so. Uh, we didn't know what we wanted to do with the house, uh, so we made the house presentable so it could be at, at, at least present well. Yes, yes, that makes sense. That makes sense. And so the, uh, so it's just a few and things. And we got left. new landscaping. I mean, I mean, we did new landscaping to the house. We cut the trees down so we would show well so you could see the house. Um, we keep out the outside of uh, maintenance, we've abated anything that has to be abated for Richmond Heights. So we 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 do we have done uh, the necessary due diligence to say that we're um, uh, uh, um, uh, owner who cares about the the neighborhood. Yes, yes, then we do too. And that's the thing, we want to keep the neighborhood up and looking good. And that's why I say we try to fix them up to bring them up to like 2019, 2020 standards, like HGTV okay. to make it look all nice and everything. You know, we spend a lot of money are on fixing them up. To do, are you prepared to do some serious, serious purchasing? Because I asked the young lady who you all represent. Okay. And she said, well, I represent Richmond Heights. And I said, well, what are you going to do with the house? Yeah, yeah. So, we're, like I said, we're St. Louis cash bars. We buy houses all the time, all over St. Louis. And I can get you our information as well, so you can do a little research on us if you need to. Please do. I, I do because we both want to entertain. I don't, I don't want to waste your time. You, and, and I know you don't want to waste my time. But we are still in the spires. It, it was, um, uh, I know you wanted something in, in, in South County, but this is an opportunity in Richmond Heights. It's a bad man here, and they know it. Uh, you, you, you five minutes from the Galleria. Okay, everybody wants that corner. I'm going to just tell you. Location. 
Yeah, I was going to ask you, are there any other buyers that are interested in the house so far? Uh, yes, I do. I am entertaining things, uh, uh, but I'm entertaining the most uh, amenable uh, agreement that, that we can make uh, and my family members will be satisfied with it. Right, right. That's what I was going to ask you, too. So are there other people that are going to be helping you with this decision, like your family, or is it something you're the sole decision maker? No, there, there, there is a family of uh, people, just two people, and we will be making that decision once I, I, I have uh, a very serious offer to present. I'm not presenting any frivolous offers, but all serious offers and serious buyers. Yes, ma'am. I could definitely understand that. So what do you consider would be a good offer for you all that makes it so where you would feel comfortable with moving on and selling the house and getting it off of your hands? Um, how, how do you usually do? Do you look at the house site? Have you looked at the house? Uh, we have not looked at the house yet. We would love to get inside the house and take a look at it and see what repairs and updates are needed. That's definitely part of our due diligence process. But we just want to make sure that, you know, like I said, what, what do you feel is something fair for you all where you would actually be ready to actually sell it and be done with the house and get it closed up? say up in the upper 300s something like that was a couple of months ago we did one like that out in um and uh where was that at uh sunset hills area so yeah they're kind of expensive over there so we did one over there um we do them all over like i say all over st louis plus we work with a group of investors anyway so we have multiple people that we you know we pool resources and we can buy anything we can buy up to anything up to eight hundred thousand Okay, I just want—I want to see if you got serious purchase pro uh, power. Oh yes, ma'am. If you don't have any serious purchase power, we need to—we need to stop talking to you because we all pay for the you get the square footage, you get the um uh they got I've got higher square footage even though I'm on a slab, and I've got a real fallout area. Yes, ma'am. I can definitely understand that. And, and I'm right on that corner. I know that's right, and so and so you say that. Uh, what what is it that you think that uh, the house would appraise for? That's a good. I I, I like your, I, I like your negotiation. The house appraises for uh, in, in in our in our tax docket at uh, two two sixty nine two hundred and sixty nine thousand. Okay. And so, um, and you know, you wasn't trying to get that much for it, though, right? You know, it's got a piece of money put into uh -huh. it. We, we realize that the house will have to be uh, completely updated. Now, you won't have to, you won't have to do the roof. You won't have to do the furnace. Like I told them, all those things have to be maintenance. Uh, it does have. It's like a. You'll see. But if you if you can show me some value, I don't want. So I've entertained some frivolous, uh, this is a for sale by owner, I've entertained some frivolous offers which they didn't want, they weren't serious. So if you can kind of shoot to me, uh, I can give you my email number, my email address, if you can show me, you know, who you are, who am I, who am I talking to, I don't know who I'm talking to. Yeah, no problem, so and here's what I did. You want to, so, we can we can do as much as I can. Um, I, I, we are entertaining private showings for nothing is nothing is on the market yet. No one knows that this house is even on the market. And yeah, we specialize in that, and that's what we try to do, too, to make sure, you know, nobody knows you're even selling a house or anything. We we just try to make it a smooth transition. So I did just send you another text message that actually has the link to our website. Uh, it's, yeah, so you can click that link, and it gives you a full description of what we do. It has uh, probably some pictures and before and afters of some of the rehabs we've done, some testimonials from people and clients we've helped in the past. We bought houses, like I say, all over town. And so, like I said, that gives you a little bit. A background about us, and so, um, so as far as repairs, what do you think this house would need? About a hundred thousand in repairs, or, or less than that? What do you no. think as far as repairs? I'm, no, less no. than that. You will not. You will not. You will not. Even if you would probably have someone there who can help you determine the scope of work, but you will not have that kind of. Uh, you will not have a hundred thousand worth of repairs. You would have. 
it's been estimated anywhere from 70 to 90. So it depends on what, you know, your room finishes. It depends on your room finishes. There's hardwood floors in the great room, so it depends on if you want to redo the hardwood floors or your scope of work. If your scope of work are regular finishes and you're not doing anything elaborate finishes to do the build out, then you know you can. If you have contractors where you can contain the cost, and, uh, and I'm sure you understand this, um, you can get things done very, very. Uh, prudently. Yes, ma'am. I would agree with that. And so in that area, to be honest with you, we would probably go all out and, and get the best of the best. Granite countertops, mm -hmm. tile, and things like that. We would go in and make it really, really nice for a new family to move into it because it is in a good area. When we're in those great areas, we want to go in and make it a good purchase. We want to try to make it the best house on the block if possible. That's normally what we do when we do these houses. You said you send me the information, and I would be most inter most happy to entertain a private viewing with you. We ask that you have no pictures. You take no pictures. You can make any type of measurements that you need to make, go through the house, but there is no pictures. Okay, so that's fine, that's fine. And so uh, also, um, if we are able to agree on everything, like I said, we typically pay the closing costs. There are no real estate commissions or fees or anything like that, no commissions. So the price we agree to is actually the price you get. And so, you know, whatever number we agree to, you wouldn't have to worry about any of that. Okay, no problem. I have a uh, real estate attorney that I work, that our family works with. And uh, he will be helping me through the process because we do have to look over pa paperwork. Uh, what about uh, the closing? Do you, you, you work with your own title company? Yes, we have title companies that we work with. Yes, yes, ma'am. So we do all of that. Like I said, we take care of all of the closing costs for your side and our side um, as long as, you know, there's no liens or anything that we're unaware of or anything, any surprises. Because you know how this real estate can go. I found properties where we... We know, we know. That's, why we, that, that's, why, that's why we did the, uh, the title search. Yes. But we'd be, if we didn't have to do any closing or anything like that, we would, we would be, you know, uh, uh, we, could, we don't have those costs, so we don't have to pay them out of the money that you give us. You exactly. There is a price to actually sell a home. <laughs> exactly. My There's a price to do the due diligence and to actually sell a house. That's why people get commissions. Yes, ma'am. I agree. So you, it sound like you've been in the real estate game for a while. You know this stuff. You got to come work with me, huh? You offering me? I've been doing this for thirty years. I know you're good at it. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good, Barbara. So, like I said. So how do I go about taking a look on the inside when uh, we want to see inside? How does that? How make do we do that? Make an appointment with me if you can. Uh, if you make an appointment with me, you can. We can. We can show the houses as uh, uh, soon as next week before. You want to do it before uh, Christmas? Yes, ma'am. I want to do it as soon as possible. I want to take this headache off of your hands as soon as possible. Oh, it's not a headache. I always, I always talk to the house. The house is. The house is there for a good family to have. So if you, are, you, you think you can um, come up to the plate, let's, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's see, is, um, hmm, what day? Uh, Monday? That's fine for what, me. What day is good? Yeah, Monday's fine. What what, are you, when is Monday? Let's see what Monday is. Let me go. Uh, let's see, probably the 26th. Second or so, twenty third. Let me look. I can't pull my calendar up for some reason. Twenty third. Twenty third. Mhm. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the twenty third. So, are you available in the afternoon on the twenty third? Yes, I am. So, how about this? I'll give you a call that earlier that day, and we'll make a time for the afternoon of the twenty third. Would that work? Okay. Would that be after the window from twelve? 12 to 2, somewhere between that time. So uh, I'll call you and let you know okay. when I'm actually on the way. So we'll have a pinpoint time at that time. Because, you know, life happens okay. and I don't want to disturb what's going on with your life or anything like that. So you'll actually know, you know, okay. exactly when. All right. Plus, so you know how this weather goes. We might get a blizzard or something overnight. You know how this goes around here. <laughs> I, 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 do, I do. I do. We want to make sure that the path is clean and everything for you to go over there. So I just want to make sure that you 
want to make everything, make sure that everything is shoveled out. And because uh, we had we had a couple snows and I haven't been over there. I am the take, caretaker for the for the property. Oh, okay. So let me ask you this: What's more important to you, a quick sale or getting the price that you want? Getting the price I want. Mmm. So you must want the two sixty nine. You say to the praise for, huh? Mm -mm, I don't. But I want, I want to be able to do some things to relieve some of the burdens off my family. I know that's right. So so, mm -hmm. so that's what you're going to do this, with This house is a historic house. I just, there's, a, there's a story to this house. This house was owned by a famous magician. I don't, I don't even know if you know uh, Harold Atterbury. This is, this, is a, this, is our, this is our family own home. He used to go by the stage name Pudgy. Oh, I think I heard about Pudgy. He played with B.B. He played with B.B. King uh, and a couple well-known. Uh, he he never he he's done some private collaborations, uh, and uh, but he never got he got there out there. He 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 sold. He had a couple CDs made. Went into the recording studio, did some things with the cat collaboration with some other uh, musicians that are more well-known, but. This is, the, this is the home. This is his home. Oh, this okay. Is home. So that's good. So it's got a story to it. Nobody cares about it, but I'm saying this is, you know, this is a historic home. This, I mean, for us, you know, this home has character. It does have a history to it. Um, you know, so I know it doesn't mean anything to anybody else, but it is a home, you know, uh, it is that family home that we purchased so he can still have some place to live. And our family actually came in. We took care of all the utilities. We took care of the maintenance and everything like that while he was, while he was living. Oh, okay. So it makes sense. So, I mean, just know when you sell your house to us, it'll be coming to a good place because, like I said, we want to, you know, fix it all up and bring it updated, you know, and make it good for the next family to move in so they can have that story to tell as well. You work with contractors? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we have to work with a lot of different people because, you know, some jobs require a major overhaul and sometimes it's like small handyman type stuff. So we work with, you know, like I say, a group of investors as well as we work with a couple of different contracting companies and things just so that, you know, we can make the deal move along. We don't want to hold a property after we buy. We want to buy it, get to work, get it fixed up, get it up on the market or get it rented out pretty quick. You know, we want to move along. We don't want to hold it because, you know, there's holding costs just to hold property. You understand that, right? I understand Honestly, just to just to hold it, and you're not making anything off of it. Yes, ma'am, because you got to pay so the taxes, insurance. You gotta, yes, you got to turn it. You got to turn it fairly quickly. Uh, again, I think you'll be interested in at least something when we t when you come and see it on Monday. So, Chris, on Monday, I'm going to uh, pencil out between twelve and two. You'll be calling me sometime uh, mid morning to to make sure that somebody there, who, who all will be there? Can you tell me? Uh, yeah, it'll be definitely there? me for sure and maybe one of my partners, but just it'll be me for sure. Okay, and you sent me the link so I can do the due diligence and read up on your, your, your investment company and what your interests are and how you're able to purchase, because we only want to entertain serious buyers. Yes, ma'am. Serious buyers is stlcb.com for St. Louis Cash Bars. I actually sent you a text message, and I can send it if you don't see it in your phone already or not, and uh, and um, okay. we can go from there. But, yeah, I can get you, you know, information on anything you need as far as that. And let me ask you this. Have you already, uh, what kind of offer have you already had? You said some frivolous offers. What were they offering already for you? Mm. Well, we, 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 we have privilege to entertain. We can't share that information with you. We just want to make sure that you have the greatest opportunity to see the property, see the value of it. You've got to, you know, you've got to see it through uh, restoring it and renovating it, but see the value of it. You're gonna, whoever gets that, that, that corner has got a gold stone. Say it's a win-win. Okay, so perfect, uh, Barbara. I will it's see a you on. You see, you, you're gonna see the, You're gonna see. You're gonna. It's right behind. You five minutes from the Galleria. They got the new condos coming.
Pamela Ontario. I can I can go I can be look out of out of the out of the house and see the condos. You got the courtyard, Marriott is is over there, you got the new eatery over there, you behind us from Walmart, Lords, Sam's, all the other eateries, you you three minutes, four minutes from the highway, you can get to any highway, it's on a good location. Yes, ma'am. That makes sense. That makes sense. So let me ask you this, Barbara, before I let you go. If we can agree on a price that works good for you and a family member there, are you all ready to start, get the paperwork started on Monday so we can get the process started? Serious? I, I, I think so. Even like, can you, if you can do things electronic now, she might have to come down. My other, my, my aunt is in, in Chicago. So my other family member is in Chicago. So guess I'm what? I'm the one who's taking care. We do a lot of deals uh, electronically, so we don't need them to come here or anything. We can make the whole thing smooth okay. for everybody. Even we can send the closing documents to them out of town and everything. We do these deals all the time, like I say. So we make it real easy for everybody involved. We just want to make it a smooth transition so that everybody's happy in the end. Okay. I want you to see it because I know that you're going to have much discussion about it, whether whatever happens. There's going to be much discussion about this. Great, great, Barbara. All right, so did you have any other questions or anything for me before I let you go? No, Chris, I'm very, um, I'm, I'm very comfortable with you. Yes, ma'am, I'm very comfortable with you as well, and I look forward to, will I be seeing you on Monday or somebody else there? You'll be seeing me on Monday. Oh, wow, right. I'll be like seeing an old friend. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Barbara. I will see you on Monday, okay? I've been doing this for a while. Okay. All right. Bye bye. All right. You have a good one. Bye bye. Boom. And that's how you do it. Gathering information, build rapport, gauge motivation. Sounds really motivated. And yes, she is selling me the house. So if we can agree on a number. Um, you see how I got some numbers out of her, though. I asked her about what do you think it's going to take as far as the repairs. She gave me a range from 70 to 90. In my mind, that's 100. I said 100 from the rip, you see? And I ain't ever even talked to the lady. I just know the game. Never seen that. I can assume 100. And so she thinks the appraisal was 269, which is exactly what Zillow said. Zillow, the Zestimate, you know what a Zestimate is, right? An estimate with a Z in front of it said 271, pretty much the same thing. Uh, iComps, another site said 262. And so if we use the appraisal amount she said of 269 times 0.7, which is the 30% discount, minus the 90,000 in repairs, the most we could offer would be about 98 and really have to be a little lower than that if we want to make a fee. A cash buyer can buy that house for about 100000 So I would want to lock this up for about 90 if I could or lower. I would like to get it for 90 just being honest. If I can get it for 90 I know that's a deal. If I get it for 95 I still know it's a deal. When I start pushing up too close up to that 100 mark, I mean, you know, it's going to make a difference. Now, another way to do this, since we know this is in a very nice area, we don't have to use the 0.7 method. We can use 0.8 to do a 20% discount because we know it's in a high demand area. So we can use the ARV or the number we think the after repair value is, which I think it may be a little bit more than that because when I did a little research earlier, I saw some houses over there selling for around a $300,000 mark. So... You know, yeah, get it for 70. Get it up for real low. So that's why I was trying to get a number out of her to see, which I'm still going to get a number out of her. So if we were able to get it for a 20% discount, we could get up in around a 125 mark. So that would be a lot better. If I can get it locked up for 100 and sell it for 125, $25,000 deal. Bang, baby. I'll sign that tomorrow. I'll sign that right now if we can do it. But I already kind of figured we need to be around $100,000 to get this deal. Preferably lower, but, you know, the lower we get it, the better. And so, when you see how I threw that out there. So, what do you think? It's $100,000 in repairs? Oh, no, it can't be that much. And I'm thinking she's going to drop down to like 40, 50. She's talking about some 70 to 90. What is that? What is that? $100,000. What'd you think about it, man? Man, I said that's still $100,000. You know what I'm saying? Flat out. It's $100,000. 100 racks. And y'all talking about some. racks and repairs. They try to, yeah. try to downplay. Oh, 70 to 90. <laughs> you know, I'm picking the biggest number because it's in my favor. 93, maybe tops. Exactly. Exactly. You staying woke. 
So for those who don't know who just joined, my name is Chris Monroe, the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. I talk that real estate talk every day. I do a real estate show each and every Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time on my YouTube channel. The link's in my description. Go check it out. We're going to be talking to uh, Danny Lou this Monday night. She just closed our very first wholesale deal, $34,000 spread. Can you believe that? First deal, $34,000 spread in Virginia. We're going to be talking to her this Monday night. The following Monday, we'll be talking to somebody in regards to uh, how to get your deal done get your lead game up uh, we got uh, Brian a rig boo house buying Brian coming on next month so I got some heavy hitters coming up dropping some knowledge on you so if you aren't following me here on YouTube you better be uh, I'm sorry what is this Instagram you need to be following turn on those post notifications so you know when we go live because I do these live calls all the time so you can be right here and say man I got to ask a question about that deal how did you do that why did you say that all those questions get it right here answered live and in full effect and if you're on the YouTube channel, I got a full playlist there called the Woke Real Estate Playlist where you can go through. It's over 100 training videos to go over all of this stuff for free. And if you want to get the paid good content, cool gear, contracts, or coaching, that's WokeRealEstate.com. WokeRealEstate.com. All of the links and stuff are in the description or in my bio here on IG. So let's see. I'll be watching and making notes. That's smart, Robert. Any more questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Damn, man, watching this just motivated me so much. Appreciate you for the inspiration, bro. That's right. Get inspired. Get inspired. Don't get tired. Go on in there and try to get hired. Get that money. But you see how you built that motivation with that seller? She's comfortable with me. So if I can keep that comfort level, get her on my team, get her to convince the other person, because you see how I ask, is there another decision maker? Are you the only one making a decision? What did I ask her? I said, uh, it's actually on my little cheat sheet here. See, I make cheat sheets for everything. See, you don't have to do any of this stuff by memory. You can do it from memory, but it's better to be prepared. I got my notes right here, everything she said, wrote down. You got to be prepared. Being prepared is half the battle. So be prepared and stay woke so you don't be broke. So I asked her, um, what's more important to you, a quick sale or the price you want? Oh, so she said price. So a quick sale isn't even a big thing. So I can lock this bad boy up for 60 days if I wanted to. She said, quick sale ain't important, and I can't take pictures, so this is going to be a funky deal if I am get, able to get it locked up. I'm going to have to market it somehow without any pictures, show it somehow without, you know, doing some things. So I don't know. It's craziness. Thanks for dropping that link to WokeRealEstate.com. That's the website. Let me pin it for you. How do you pin? Pin comment. Thanks a lot. Thanks for that. Bro, I'm from STL coming down to the holidays. Can I pull you? Pull up on you to politic. Yeah, come on by the real estate office, the brand new office here. Come on, see what, what deals on the board. Look at that. Boom, the board stay full of deals. Full of deals. We always got something going over here. Keep something on the board. And keep something on your monopoly board, too. Get some houses that you can own and or control and maintain going forward. That's how you get that passive cash flow. That's what I'm talking about. Upload that doc for us. What doc are you talking about? It's a doc. Oh, this doc? Oh, yeah, you can get all this stuff. WokeRealEstate.com. There's no secrets. Everything's here for disclosed. And if you're one of my coach clients, you get everything. You get to talk to me, get to go through the deal, one-on-one -on -one calls and all that stuff. I even talk to your seller for you. I hold your hand through the deal. Now, that's kind of cheap right now. That's only $400 a month for that. But that price is going up next year because that's way too cheap for the access for, to everything in real estate. There's people out here paying $30,000, $60,000 to learn this stuff, and I'm giving it away damn near free. Really, it is free if you just go watch all the videos. If you Take the time to get on the grind and change your mind. You're going to DM me. All right. So let's see here. What do you think about Denver's market for wholesaling? You know, I don't have a clue because I've never been to Denver. But I know somebody that's there in Denver. I know two people in Denver, as a matter of fact, up in the mountains. Uh, it should be no different than anywhere else because do people get divorced there? Do people die there? Do people retire there? Do people uh, get older and move and downsize and go to nursing homes there? People lose their jobs there. Everywhere. Yeah. So opportunity is everywhere. The world is your stage. Man, I need help. Well, hit me up. Like I say, WokeRealEstate.com. Let's see. Littest list currently. Absentee owner. Vacant. Anything with vacant attached to it. This house came up as a vacant. Matter of fact, this house came up on my divorced uh, or bankruptcy. I put them together for some reason. I don't know why. I had a divorce and bankruptcy list together. And that's where this list came from. And it's absentee owner. And it's vacant. So it came up on multiple pain points. When you got multiple pain points, multiple possibilities of, uh, you know, and, and then that's the other thing. This house is in a nice area. Why is this house vacant for three years? Who the hell owns a nice house in a nice area for three years? Who does that? In the top ten school districts, that's weird. Crazy as hell. Let me get that house, man. Sign this paper right here. So 
that's going to do it. So like I say, follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, and the YouTube channel. All those links and more in the description here. Check it out. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me already. Peace out, family.